This is the Dr. Bill Quarter with one question for today's presentation. Do you want to be a better parent? And do you want to become um, a better parent? And how do you do it? If you're listening to this video and you're not a parent, then I think you can easily exchange the word friend for parent. Do you want to be a better friend? Do you want to become a better friend? And how do you become a better friend? Um, in this presentation, I will focus on parenting, but again, it works on many different areas. So how do you become a better parent? I think the challenge for most parents is that they really need to offer praise and support and not criticism and judgment. They need to offer unconditional love, which is so rare today. What we see, uh, I think, in so many families is you have parents that overload their children with activities. Their activities, their, their children are involved in soccer, in football, in sports. They're doing piano lessons, they're doing dance, they're doing whatever, but they're overloaded from sunrise to sunset. And it's as if the parents are trying to find out what are their child's strengths, what are their child's weaknesses, and then once they realize that, they try to help direct the child in the areas of strength, both in terms of sports and academics, and even as they move towards college and careers, what would be the best to make my son or daughter successful, um, wealthy, and happy? Well, that to me is not the best approach. Let me explain my philosophy. My philosophy, uh, which I've shared before, is each one of us is born with a special gift. And the challenge in life is to find that gift, to nourish that gift, to develop that gift, and then to share that gift. And if you can do all of those steps, you're gonna be very satisfied and very happy with your life and with your career. The difficulty is that you need freedom to be able to do all of those steps. And many parents are more into obedience and limitation and direction than they are into freedom. They'll claim that you, you have to have some rules and regulations. You have to have some limits. You have to have some control, some direction to really maximize your child's chance for happiness. Well, let me counter that with one observation. Look at successful people. Look at people who have really done so well in their life and see how many of them have lost their parents in their childhood or adolescence. Um, I have mentioned Wayne Dyer recently. He lost his father. You look at musicians, Paul McCartney and John Lennon, probably in the last century the best songwriting duo. Both of them lost their mothers in their early adolescence. You look at Steve Jobs and what he's done for the world, lost his parents, separated from his parents. Madonna, I could go on and on and name dozens and dozens of examples where individuals went through severe pain and suffering that you don't wish on anybody, but they did it in their childhood and early adolescence and they found themselves suddenly free free of expectations, free of limitations. And in that sort of atmosphere, they could then dream. They could then find themselves and create their own pathway. So I'm not recommending that the parent goes off to the nearest cliff and jumps so the child will be free. But I am recommending that as a parent, you develop the habit of stepping back and getting out of the way. You need to offer your love and support. You need to offer um, you know, whatever the child needs and requests. But at the same time, you need to give them room. What you really want to foster is you want to foster um, independence. You want to foster their own sense of 
um, a sense of self. You want to foster their own level of growing self-confidence. If you could just lay the right foundation, um, and better said, let them lay the right foundation for themselves, you'll find that they'll, f they'll find their passion, they'll find their purpose. And yes, it may not be the passion or purpose that gives them the most money. It may not be the passion or purpose that you wanted for your son or daughter, but it's going to be what they want. And if they're happier, I guarantee you, in the long run, you'll be happier. So for this presentation, that's my recommendation for habit. As a parent, learn to step back. As a parent, learn to be supportive. But as a parent, learn to give freedom to your son or daughter. And I think if you can make that shift, uh, you're going to be surprised at the wonderful results. And the results not only pertain to their careers and their lives, it pertains to your relationship with your son or your daughter. If you give them that freedom, you'll find out as they progress through life and as they become adults, they become your best friends. Instead of being at a distance, they're close and personal. Um, it's a wonderful re re reaction. It's a wonderful outcome. Learn the habit, follow the habit, and I guarantee you, your family life will be stronger, your own life will be happier, and your kids will do great. Thank you for listening. If any of this resonates, um, please um, subscribe to drbillcorder.com. And just to conclude, I do have a book coming out, A Father's Letters, um, more like the wisdom of fathers, um, but it will echo many of these points. Thank you very much. Hope we can grow together, learn together, and develop our families together. Thank you.